lovely. So first question, uh, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm feeling soggy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First day of the tour. You look yeah, forward to it? really excited. It's nice to start in my stomping ground. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah. How many times have you played it before then now? I've played it like three or four times before. Yeah. But Headlines? I've, yeah, I've had one once before, um, but we didn't sell many tickets. This time we've oh. come back and we've near enough sold it out. Yeah. So, so I saw that it was almost... That. 25 off selling out yeah. today, yeah. Least, which is and London yeah. sold out as well. London sold out, yeah. yeah. We've got, I think we've got like six tickets left, so hopefully we'll ship that those. Is, yeah. And the new songs come, you know, gone down very well. Yes, it's yeah, it's been amazing, amazing response. It's really reassuring actually. When I love the music video. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, God, I just sat there in like a judge's outfit thinking this is not, <laughs> this is not going to end well. <laughs> Who's like, whose idea was that? Was that mine? Yeah. And you just so I had the I was like, oh, I'm going to flick through the TV and maybe like a weather girl and. And then it sort of, we got a bit carried away with ourselves. And then before we know it, we had this stupidly like over the top video. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was inspired by, um, is it 10 Things I Hate About Me, the prom scene or something? Yeah. yeah. Do you have any other songs that sort of inspired by films um, you've watched I always before? Watch is, really, is Shark Week inspired by Jaws? <laughs> should be. Yeah. Could be. We'll say yes, we'll say SRI exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Shark Week is about Jaws. Um, I like I watch films a lot and like sometimes I'm like, oh I wouldn't have put that song there. Mm. And I get that like, angry about it and then I'm like, oh I'd have put this song there. So when it's done right, it's amazing and like mm. can make a film to me. But you know when you're like, oh, why do you put because yeah. we, we we always laugh about there's there's a guy on our course that watched we watched a quiet place as part of our course yeah. and at the end of the film he was like the sound in that film was terrible yeah and I was like ha no, <laughs> no. <laughs> who's been in charge of that who's been given that? <laughs> yeah. do you think you'd ever score a film then I'd love to I'd love to yeah. yeah well so if any film in the world you could score what do you reckon it would be that's a massive question I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. I'm very sorry <laughs> I'd love to do like a Wes Anderson film Ooh. I'd love to do like the Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah, or something I feel like that's very on brand for you. Yeah, like I'd love to try something like that. It'd be funny. Yeah. Those weird little disjointed <laughs> songs and like funny little things. Yeah. yeah. So you've um, worked with the same production company each time you've done yeah. a musical, haven't you? Yeah, I have. How did you sort of um, get that relationship with them? Guys? So I, they were the only people. So I live on the Isle of Wight. You know, there's, they were the only people there that filmed yeah. like any sort oh. of production video. And I was like, oh, so I went there first, you know, thought of cool. Yeah. And then we got on really well and then just basically never stopped yeah. working with them. Oh, Which nice. is cool because when you've got something that works and you know, and we've built oh, up really? like a weird friendship, so it's nice. Because you have a good relationship with um, Steph from BBC Introducing oh, as well, I love don't Steph. You? I could just go out for dinner with her and hang out. Yeah. I don't know if we I've seen say it. this. Is no, we say this all the time. Is that inappropriate? I'm always like, like, she wants to ask her. She's like, we say this all the time. I went for coffee with her once in a BBC canteen. So I was like, nice. best day of my life. She's <laughs> so nice. I've never met someone of that. She's coming tonight. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. So Shut excited. up. Now's your opportunity. Oh my <laughs> god. Go in for it. Go in for the kill. <laughs> I don't know. She's, <laughs> great. She's great. She's awesome. Do you feel like BBC Introducing has helped you a lot then in terms of career? Yeah, they've been a huge you know, support system to me. Like I've played Glastonbury because mm. of them. I'm going to South by Southwest next That's month crazy. in Texas really because of BBC Introducing. Yeah. So yeah, their support has been... You must be very crazy. excited. You've got a lot of festivals this summer coming. Yes, loads of festivals. That's huge. Yeah. It's really exciting. What are you most um, looking forward to out of um, the festival um, run of things? I'm obviously really looking forward to South by in yeah. Texas next month, but I think like Truck Festival, yeah. because I used to go like, with all of my friends and it used to be like the weekend of the year yeah. when I was sort of like 18 and not as well. Um, but it'd be cool to, and we're playing main stage and stuff like that. So it's nice to be going back yeah. in that capacity and doing, you know, that kind of thing. It's like the indie festival now as well, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's huge at the minute. Yeah. What was your reaction to Reading and Leeds not having many women on the lineup? Was that? I know. Um, I sort of. Uh, I'm one of those people that if it doesn't personally affect me, I'm like, mm. well, I can sort of get over it because I wasn't on the lineup. Yeah, I was yeah. interested that well. <laughs> you made a mistake. <laughs> 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 so I was like, out, well, yeah. whatever. But um, no, it is. It's obviously like, oh, you know. Yeah. I d but I don't know what the answer is. You know, I don't know if it's innocently done. You know, and there's just you know. Yeah, because like Massey Healy says yeah. yeah. from 95 that they're not playing any festivals. I know, I saw that, and that's yeah. a really cool thing. Cause, you know, there are bands you know that could say that, and that will yeah. have some effect. You know. But not every band can say that. I no, guess, exactly. So. Not every band can say that. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's like an honest thing, and you know, the bookers have just been. And that's just the way it's lent. So yeah. sometimes that just does happen, but. Yeah, it's like, come on, there's so many. Because you've got a wicked set of so many like, female fronted bands. I know, like, this whole lineup with. is just full of girls. And they're all great. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? It's like, well, there's not a shortage of them. No, I think, you know. And there's but, there's one festival where, isn't Abby playing a festival with you? Yeah, we're playing loads of the same festivals this summer. That's sick. Abby's great. That's yeah, well, sick. I, she, 
I played with her in Manchester. She supported me on my last tour. Oh, just nice. got just on the one date, and I was like, oh, I really want to bring her out and whole thing. She's just so cool. Mm. So yeah. And How is it? Um, oh, sorry. No, you go. Off How's this as well in Kippo Campus? Just oh, check that out. so fun. Yeah. Got, those guys are too cool. I got there and I was like, oh, I'm so <laughs> like, I'm living the you life. Know, when you like, yeah, yeah, I was just like, you meet people and you're like, oh, yeah. God. Is that the same with the regrets? Yeah, I love the regrets. Yeah, so cool. The regrets were super fun because their fan base is just young, crazy mm. girls, which is so perfect. Because that's <laughs> I live for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, that was an amazing. Because I, I was annoyed that I missed that, but then I saw you at the SRA Awards. Yes. That was sick. That was a fun. That was, that was fun. It was weird though, yeah. because we played at the very end, so yeah, everyone yeah. had had a good sort of hour and a half drinking time, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we went on. Everyone was like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> <laughs> SRA class of twenty twenty. That's yes, cool. that was amazing. What, yeah, that was. Because they're normally very accurate yeah. those. Type yeah, of it was ama- well, to be on that list and reading that list. I was like, "Cool." A lot goes into that. I think yeah. they put a lot of effort. On I think I was the only one on there that's unsigned. Really, oh, as really? well, which was a really cool. That's incredible. Little that's thing. Really good. Yeah, but that it was. A, I loved going there. It was so fun actually watching everyone get their awards as well. Yeah, it was like, a really. I was the only one from our station there. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it was so like groups of. It looked like it was like a stag do. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was like yeah. the University of Berkshire, and they were like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it cool. gets very passionate. Yeah, people really? are going crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. It's very true because yeah, we yeah. we we're a big part we we're a big part of the music network with the SRA. So we mm. recently hosted the chart show. Yeah, and um, we we pretended we were in Spain for the whole thing just Amazing. to try and wind up everyone. Yeah. And we we convinced a lot of people, didn't we? Yeah, That's yeah. Good. Some guys, <laughs> some guy made jingles for us halfway through the show, mm. and was like, he got his friend to record like Spanish vocals for us. So by the time we got to number one, it was like numero uno, <laughs> <laughs> and we were just sat in our studio like. Oh, this is cool. We've gone too uh, far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, you're based on the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Um, what's it like, sort of, the music scene around there? Um, it's a, not as bad as you'd think. Mm. Um, I mean, there's nothing else to do on the Isle of Wight. So <laughs> people just, sort of just make, make bands. Yeah. yeah. No, we've been to Osborne House. That place is sick. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's one of those things that if you live on the Isle of Wight, you yeah. don't go and do the tourist um, stuff. Yeah. I imagine it's like if you live near Thorpe Park, would you go to Thorpe Park? It's true. It's a good I, I probably would, but see, I'm from, I'm from Reading, and I've been to Reading Museum at least five times. Oh, in the past really? Year. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm just very unpatriotic. <laughs> I, they've got a, like a fake bear tapestry there. It's Lovely. just crazy. I'm living the life. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, there's a lot of great bands on the island. Yeah, there's there's you recommend at all? Yeah, Plastic Mermaids are great. Oh, um, yeah. Champs, Coach Party. Oh, yeah. I noticed that some of them used to be in your band as well. <laughs> yeah, but everyone I just listed well, at one point or another. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very small yeah. band. I was upset they changed their name from Jeff though. I know, I loved Jeff. It was a quality name. I was in favour of Jeff. Yeah. But, yeah. Do you know yeah. why they changed it at all? Um, I think they just wanted to start again, really. Yeah, start fresh. Yeah, Makes sense. and I think sometimes people go like, hang over your head, don't they? So yeah. they wanted to start something new. Lovely. So, yeah. We, we, so basically, this, I always have to explain this when we interview yeah. people. This is how our setup works. He does the serious questions, and then I, go in, I say the off, off tandem question. <laughs> so we, we chatted to some guy that was pretend that act, was acting as Boris Johnson in the show The Nuffle recently, Amazing. and he said that his favourite snack is. Marmite on ginger nut biscuits, right? Weird. Which we question, but he seemed <laughs> yeah. very, he seemed very passionate about. And I, I, I was wondering if you have any weird food habits. Weird food habits. I have a fear of dips. Ooh. Of dips, like you, a genuine dip. Yeah, like petrifies me. <laughs> so you know when people you know have got like a, yeah. they have a barbecue and everyone's yeah. sticking Doritos and stuff and. All this sauce is sort of getting all like blended in and mixed. Do you know what I mean? It's when the risk it's, of double dip. It's I that think. sort yeah. of like thing, and then you look at it at the end and you're like, Whoa. <laughs> that's it's a bit of soup. It again. keeps me up at night, yeah. that sort of thing. Oh, I see. Hate Are dips. we going to get a song about your HD dip? <laughs> I hate dips. It's what the people want. Yeah. Exactly. I, I see a lot of tweets like going like at Lauren Hibbert. Yeah. Where's, Where's the, dip? the dip song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. You go for the scrambled egg question. It is the big oh, question. Oh, is this oh. the time? So each time we interview someone, we ask if they prefer. Scrambled or, or poached, poached eggs. eggs. It's yeah. a big question. I'm a poached egger. Oh, that's what Dick and Dom said. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Miramasa said scrambled. Po- really? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Miramasa described it as he said it was easy, wasn't it? It was yeah. like convenient. Yeah. I like it all, but 
I think it's because I can't poach eggs that well. That yes. I would much rather, t- if I was out for breakfast, I have a poached egg. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, can't do that. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> I can scramble an egg, so I'm a bit like, well. It's quite sophisticated. It's hard to do egg. a good poached yeah. egg at home. I don't think I've ever done it myself. No, I struggle immensely. Mm. It's all about timing. Yeah, yeah. so I think I because I don't that. can't have it all the time, I'd pick that as like a luxury egg. I see. It's like a treat yourself moment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that a lot. <laughs> I love that a lot. Yeah, I respect that. So I think we've we come to an end now. No, we yeah, yeah. have up to you, mate. Up to you. <laughs> Amazing. Are you excited for the tour? Really excited. It's going to be fun. I think I've done a couple of headline runs, but this one's yeah. you know sold really well, and you know it's really nice to see the natural progression you get. You know, mm. the more you release. Do you have like a, a like a dream venue to play? At? Um, well, I play joiners. Joiners, joiners. Yeah, obviously. Um, I played Shepherd's Bush Empire with Hippocampus, uh, and that was my dream venue. I yeah. would have said that. And then I played it, but I really want to play it yeah. again, like in my own right one day. That would be my yeah. goal, don't you? We'll so, be there. Yeah. See you down the front. <laughs> 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 Remember us? Yeah. You told us this is where you wanted to oh, play. Sure. <laughs> Just throwing dips at me. Like <laughs> yeah, because obviously I brought I brought a present to be like, good luck on the tour, and yeah. I don't feel like I want to give it to you now. Right, what is it? Is it dips? dips? No, nah, yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a selection pack. <laughs> Oh, my mum is a deviant for those deals, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Should we wrap up? Yeah, I think I've, I've run out of my, my main question. Serious questions. Yeah, serious questions. Yeah, yeah, he goes serious, who goes stupid. Are you guys coming to the show? Yeah, yeah, we're sticking about. Yeah, really cool, actually. Awesome. Yeah, yeah me too. Oh, well. oh, we'll see you soon.